Hey there everyone, how are you doing? I hope you are all doing well. I, I hope you've seen last week's New Arrivals episode where Milo and I uh, did a sort of a little challenge. We chose four guitars, two each, and you voted for a winner, which unfortunately wasn't me. So yeah, sad face here. Um, Milo chose a beautiful Fender uh, Telecaster from 1958. If you didn't watch that video, check it up here. We're gonna do the same. I'm gonna run around the store and choose two guitars. Milo's gonna do the same and we're gonna see which is your favorite again. So all of these cases have beautiful guitars, but they're not on the website yet. I've seen something. I think I'm gonna start here. No, it wasn't this one. Uh, this is interesting though, because this is a name that I'm unfamiliar with. Jacques Vavino, if you know him, shout out to Jacques. Ah, so this is a gypsy jazz instrument. Now, I do have to be honest, I am completely uh, out in the dark on these guitars. So it'll be hard for me to choose this one, but at least you got to see it. I want to grab this bourgeois guitar. Because I think this might be something very interesting. A beautiful OM42. Insanely high quality instruments with beautiful pieces of hardwood. This is a Coco Bolo back. I do like myself a good OM and this is actually a used guitar. It's a trade-in from 2020 if I'm correct. Very beautiful, so I'll keep this one in mind. Hey everyone, Mido here. I guess it's my turn to pick some new arrivals. Michael just went through the store because he lost last week. I won. Thank you very much for all your votes. Really means a lot. Uh, so let's wait no longer. Follow me. There are two very cool guitars here already. Check out this OM28 Navy Blue. That's cool. And whenever there's a jazz master nearby, I can smell it. Um, this is a cool uh, Deltone, Deltone Dutch brand. We uh, only had for a, a month or so. Um, cool, I don't know what we call this color. British Racing Green with the racing stripes. Very cool. We received a lot of, uh, <laughs> a lot of vintage guitars and collectibles last week. A very large uh, collection. We also made another video about this. You can see it on our uh, uh, YouTube channel. And some of them already went through the quality control. So they are, available to pick what do we have here a martin cool om45 som45 1977 i don't know if michael saw this guitar i hope he did he, he didn't that's it so, this is a D18 from 1946, if I'm not mistaken. It's been through a lot. Poor guitar, check this out. It's almost a sort of a dent here from all the playing, all the picks that, that carved through the wood. Did, did Michael choose this? Michael. And this is my first pick of this new arrivals. Let's have a look downstairs at the electric guitars that are in our store. So normally when you enter the store, you go through this area first, but I took a little shortcut. Hi there. Hi. Now there is a Telecaster model in here. That was my favorite when it came into the store. I think about a month ago, this is for Deltone guitars, also a Dutch guitar builder. And this is a very light relic Telecaster. 
This is a Gibson guitar for all you Gibson lovers out there. So this is a Gibson J50. <clears throat> so this is a Gibson J50 from 1951. Very cool, natural vintage J50. Lovely neck. I always prefer a guitar that has lived a life and told a lot of stories instead of one that is very clinical. I'm pretty sure that this one's gonna be ending up in one of my two picks. Fifty-two LG two in very good condition. Don't know if this had a refin or not, but looks amazing. Pretty guitar. It's my baby. It's my baby. So, what do we fancy? Maybe this jazz master. Not a Dutch builder. Kaufman. Check them out. I just keep thinking about that, that green jazz master. I hope you guys already know about these guitars. They aren't new or anything, but the, uh, the T64s by Eastman, the complete hollow bodies uh, with the Bixby, these guitars are so great. So maybe I can ask uh, Erwin over here. Erwin. Do you know of any cool uh, new electric guitars in this pile of new ones? I don't know. We got a bunch of new fenders in. Always nice. Oh, the new custom shop. Uh, all right. Yeah. No caster, but a Scotch blonde. Telly. Maybe for Maiko. Maiko is in the market for a uh, butterscotch Telly. Might just be butterscotch blonde. So I'm right back where I started. Um, this is the one for me. My second pick for this new arrivals, it's the Deltone. What did he call this? Uh, oh, just a JM, British Racing Green, Racing Stripes, light aged. Um, this is very cool. This is my pick. <laughs> Bowl. I'm grabbing this honestly because I don't know what this one looks like. Oh man, that's pretty nice. You see a lot of these uh, little party guitars from Bourgeois, but not quite often from Atkins. And if you don't know Alistair Atkin, he makes beautiful, beautiful instruments from the UK. Um, and he always does a fantastic job on aging new guitars. Right, let's go to another part in the store. First, we have to step over our doormat. So I already have a Gibson, um, so I'm not gonna go into this room. This is the big Gibson room, but I wanted to pick a beautiful boutique guitar. So I already have the bourgeois downstairs as an option, but I wanna see what we have in the store at this moment. I'm a really big fan of Santa Cruz guitars, Richard Hoover, really knows what he's doing. He builds beautiful instruments. Callings in here as well. Oh, this might be interesting. This is bourgeois, but it's a bourgeois touchstone guitar. So this one is actually made uh, in the Eastman factory. Now the OM42 does win out, which is not a crazy, a crazy thing to think because uh, yeah, this is a $2,500 guitar, Euro guitar. 
and the other one is well into the 12,000 euro range. It's a completely hand-built instrument by Dana Bourgeois. Um, I think I've made my choice already. I think it's going to be the Bourgeois OM42 and the J50 from 1951. So, yeah, let's go. Hey there everyone! Hello there! Welcome back to another New Arrivals episode where we've picked two guitars each. Yeah, and went uh, through the store. Yeah, we went to the favorites. store, to, we went to the marketing department and some other places. And uh, if you didn't see last week's episode, Milo picked your favorite. Uh, I have to agree, it was a Fender Telecaster from 1958. If you didn't yeah. see that video yet, check it out. It's a really cool guitar. With uh, I said it the first second I saw it to Laura. It's a showstopper and it yeah. was. I mean, Thank come you on, guys. it's a 50s Telecaster, there was yeah. no match, it was yeah. unfair. <clears throat> anyway. But it's a new week, there are new chances. Yes, so uh, let's not wait too long and look straight away at what we've got, because you've already seen what we've picked. Yeah. Let's start off with you. So I think I'm going to start with this guitar. Uh, I will call this my showstopper of the week. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a D18 from 1946. Really nice. Very, very cool. So just after the war, uh, this one has been played a lot. It's lived a life. Um, yeah, I don't know if you can catch this, but all of the pick scratchings over here, it, it created sort of a, a small dent. Not, yeah. not as much as the, the trigger uh, Willie Nelson guitar. Of course. It reminds you of this. Um, so a dent here and almost like scalloped yeah. uh, pieces of wood there in between the strings. Yeah, really so th really this was one of the guitars that came in with the new uh, vintage collection that came yeah. in. And maybe if you saw the video of the sneak peek we did of all these guitars. This was one of them and it passed to, through the quality control. So it's very, very stable. Yeah. Uh, it's in perfect condition, playing it has condition. has some things done. Yeah, quite a lot. Um, so it has a new fingerboard, uh, new frets, a, uh, a new bridge, if I'm not mistaken. It has had a neck reset, some uh, cracks that have been repaired. Yeah. You know, all of these th uh, these things are sort of usual stuff just yeah, to keep a guitar like this in playing condition. Exactly you need to do this. To, so that the players yeah. can use it. So yeah. And right now it's in perfect playing condition. So that's what you're after, right? Well, show me. Um, yeah, so I'll just play a little. Really cool guitar. So this is my uh, my first pick, yeah. my first contender. So uh, not as cool as my showstopper. That's that's what you said. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we had a little joke about that during lunch. <laughs> but uh, anyway, um, this is my pick, my showstopper. This one has a lot of character. It's a Gibson J50 from 1951. Yeah. So another great era guitar of one of the big brands of that time. Yeah. Um, it's in great playing condition. Uh, of course, a guitar that age, it, it, it has got some wear and tear. You can see that by um, the pickguard scratches below the pickguard, yeah. um, actually. Aggressive strumming. Aggressive strumming, yes. So it has played a lot of songs. I'll bet it has been uh, used to write a lot of songs. Yeah. So what's interesting is another uh, mahogany back in sides with, with a spruce top, top uh, mine as well. Yeah. Um, so th that's quite interesting. It, it looks really great. It has some marks here. Right, but uh, no, no cracks or anything to speak of. Nope, it's, nothing. It uh, looks beautiful. It is very beautiful. So um, yeah, that's my definite pick. So let's hear it. Yes, let's hear the guitar. <laughs> Yeah. 
great. It does sound great. Yes, a more a drier sound. A very me. yeah, like uh, the classic uh, Gibson yeah. sound. It's got a dry, woody tone, as someone in this company might mention. Anyway, your next guitar. Yeah, let's go. So, um, <laughs> what we have here is a green guitar. Yes, that's my pick. Now I saw this lying on on, on Timon's uh, bench, and you know I'm a sucker for offset guitars yeah, and jazz the, uh, the in particular. Yeah, the jazz masters I really really love. So this is a Deltone. We only have Deltone for about a month now, maybe two mm, months. I think two months. Yeah. yeah. Um, they are a Dutch uh, builder and they make uh, uh, all kinds of guitars, all sorts of uh, uh, Fender uh, style yeah, guitars. Telecasters, Stratocasters, yeah. Jazzmasters. Yeah. And they are really great. Uh, this They call this the British Racing Green uh, with a racing stripe as well down the middle, which is really cool. Mm -hmm. um, very cool green finish with the gold anodized pick guard. Um, I have some specs here on this on this sheet. I'll read them very quickly. Mm -hmm. uh, so we have Apollo pickups, JM style. Um, then it's a nine and a half inch radius, uh, C shape, um, maple neck, Indian rosewood, nitro finish, nitro light finish. light aging on it. Yeah, you, you see some, see of, the some crackling. of the crackling here. But uh, this one has a, a, a bus stop, what they call it, mm -hmm. um, because when you play a jazz master, a, a lot of <laughs> there's a lot of extra noise, um, and this sort of eliminates some of that. Uh, some jazz masters have this. Um, but then it says it has a abachi body. Oh yeah, abachi. I don't know what abachi is. We'll dive into it. Our ad writers will write a very uh, uh, detailed ad about all of these guitars, so you can find all the specs on our if website. If you know what abachi is, then let us know. So it's a two-piece abachi. Um, make of that what you will. Yeah. Uh, I'll play something. Cool guitar. So, your last one. Yes. So, I've actually picked two acoustics, as you already saw. And my last guitar is this, which could also be a showstopper if you're not really a vintage guitar player, but more a modern guitar player. Um, because this one has all the check marks for being the ultimate OM. It's a Bourgeois OM42. Um, I believe it's from the Aged Tone series, actually. And it's got spruce top it's got all the ornaments but the beauty beautiful thing about this guitar is the cocobolo sides and the cocobolo back that's intense that's really intense i mean i really love cocobolo as far as aesthetics go uh, tone wise as well really really cool uh, tone wood very beautiful deep dark patches in here uh, which uh, contrast very beautiful with the blonde streaks yeah Center seam, really cool. And well, Dana Bourgeois, if you don't know who Dana Bourgeois is, definitely check it out. He builds the most uh, amazing instruments. He's really known for his tone matching as far as aesthetics and yeah. tone goes. Yeah, this is Let's listen. it. Yeah. I think this one needed a little softer loving. 
Some soft loving from Michael over yeah. there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, I'll, I'll just play a little bit like with a pick. Yeah. To, to, to have a little bit of an idea of that. Uh, a D18 or anything, but that's not what the OM is made for. I think no. it's it's really made for. Um, personally, I like to play fingerstyle kind of uh, music on it. But um, beautiful engraving on the on the tuners. As beautiful, well. yeah. It's this this guitar is all about the details, yeah. and it sounds really balanced to me. So um, yeah, very that's different it. than the, the the vintage acoustics that we had. Very but very uh, different. So that was it. Uh, it's not up to us to pick a favorite. No. Um, as last week, uh, it, it's up to you. So um, you can leave a comment on this video uh, what your favorite guitar of these four is. There will also be a poll on our YouTube yeah. um, where, where you, you can, can vote. Yeah, you yeah. can vote for your favorite uh, on our Instagram as well. Uh, we would love to hear what your favorite is and uh, who will win this round. Let's see. Bye. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> Ah. <laughs> Als je een prullige tafel moet kiezen van deze vier, wat zou je favorieten? Um, ja, de, 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 de J50. Dat is gewoon die. Gewoon. Let's fucking go! Woo! 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 Sorry.